Hey guys, TCAP13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Fire Emblem 12. In the last episode, we completed Chapter 22, The Dragon's Altar, and now we're going to go on to the penultimate chapter of the game, Chapter 23, The Dark Pontifex Lives. So, let's get started. Uh, I seriously can't believe that next episode is going to be the finale already. John, just ahead is the Dark Pontifex Garnef. Probably the strongest sorcerer alive. Or dead. John, your resistance to magic is impeccable. You might just be our strongest hope of defeating Garnef. Yes, if you are there, then we stand to win. Sire, I'm honored. I'll give it my all. Alright. Now, I was looking at this map before, and man, do I not like this map. Because not only do we have a bunch of fucking dragons here, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna get reinforcements, but... Look, they, they got these rooms with the sorcerers off to the side. These guys have meteor. So, and if we try to get close to deal with them, you got guys with Thor on as well. Same on this side. Then up here, in these inaccessible rooms, we have two guys each with Fortify. Uh, then two more sorcerers with Swarm, more dragons. Two guys with Glower. Then a room with four sorcerers. Two of them have Meteor. Two with Thoron. And then Garnef. And of course, what does Imhulu do? Well, dark magic that nullifies all attacks on the bear. You know, I'm gonna say... Garnif is probably the least dangerous enemy on this fucking map. Because even with Imhulu, his attack's only two, he's only doing 28 damage. His speed is low. He does have a lot of res, but Starlight's gonna fucking destroy his ass. And it's a seize chat, we have to head, get Marth all the way up here. Oof. This is gonna be fucking terrible. <laughs> uh just because, like, these dragons, and then having to deal with Meteor, it, it's it's gonna be not not very good. Uh, alright, so what do we have here? Dolph, Michaelis, uh, Mars. Let's see, who do I want? Because I want to get someone with some decent res. Or, actually, not even decent res. I just want to get up here to block the fucking fire dragons. So I'm thinking Ogma over here, then Navar on this side. We're gonna try to do like a slow approach on this one, so let's see how that goes. Don't know if I wanna use Nagi though. Yeah, we'll see. Alright. We've got a bunch of conversations to do as well. Actually, first, let's do how's everyone. Hope John's doing well. Uh, what am I thinking? John will be fine. Thanks, Cecile. I feel fantastic today. Did I regain the senses I had back in the army? Magic and speed, that's definitely what Abel needs. I just can't contain my curiosity. That I'll tell you night. John, was it? This is... wonder how much money I'd get for this. Can I see more of those? Oh, what is this? We don't sell this in the shop. Thank you, Est. Cool, so that's two elixirs. That's, that's definitely helpful. And we got one with Wolf. Uh, let's start with Garnif. Sir Yegan, in the innermost room, he, the Dark Pontifex Garnif is waiting. John, listen well. Garnif cannot be damaged by regular weapons. The Imhulu tomb... To fucking... Christ. The Imhulu tome he possesses has the power to block our attacks. Only the Starlight tome can pierce Garnif's shadowy veil. If we don't have Starlight, then we'll have no choice but to try to seize the throne without fighting Garnif. So that's why Garnif can move, in case you didn't get Starlight. But we have Starlight, so we can kill Garnif. This dragon's altar is awash with a rather ominous presence. 
Here the Dark Pontifex Garnef is planning to revive the Shadow Dragon Medeus. We must resolve the kidnapped cleric. We must rescue the kidnapped clerics. Don't know what the hell resolving kidnapped clerics means, but let's hurry, John. Sir Dolph, I see you're eating again today. Oh, Sir John, why don't you join me? Yes, I will. You didn't complain about this meal today. On that subject, I want to hear the rest of our previous conversation. Then, the story of when you stood un unarmed in the battlefield, Sir Dolph. Okay, then listen while we eat. I was a member of a small platoon which had been captured by the enemy. Shortly afterwards, we heard that somebody had come to rescue us. It was Prince Marth. So Prince Marth... But at the same time, our executions had started too. Among us, there was an archer and a bishop. I couldn't let a single arrow reach them. But with only one body, you can only protect one ally from one foe. It's as simple as that. That's... Yes, indeed. Thankfully, there was another man in the platoon who could be a shield with me. Thanks to that, we were all saved. All of you? That's amazing. But that's only because Prince Marth came early. Had he come a little later, who knows what might have happened. So that's why a strong body is important. I understand now. Currently, there are many people in our army who excel at offense. That's exactly why I can focus on defending. Thanks, Sir Dolph. When this war is over, I want to eat with you again. Yes! I'll gladly accept your challenge for an eating contest. I don't think it was exactly an eating contest, but, uh... Sure. I didn't say anything about an eating contest. Alright, Wolf and John. Sir Wolf, please wait. Who are you? I am John, a Knight of Altea and Prince Marth's Royal Guard. John? Never heard of you. I'd be surprised if you had. I'm still unworthy, after all. But Sir Yegan has told me about you. Sir Wolf, Captain of the Wolf Guard. The strongest and the most famous of the Aurelian Knights, serving directly under His Majesty Emperor Harden. In the last war, you, their leader, displayed an overwhelming strength befitting of your position. I have no intention of being surpassed in battle. Not by you puny Altaian knights. Besides, don't misunderstand. The Wolfguard's strength is not mine alone. It also belongs to Sedgar, my assistant in the battlefield. As well as Violent and Roshaya. And more than anything, it belongs to Coyote because he was with us. Emperor Harden, huh? I'm not sure what to say. Forget it. Coyote's thoughts and intentions are clear to us. I'll smite the villain who led him astray. That is all. So I guess Coyote was referring to Harden? Hmm. That totally evaded me the first time around. <laughs> Alright, now Michaelis and John. Prince Michaelis? John, was it? I've heard about your exploits. Damn that Prince Marth. He's got a sharp eye for talent. I'll treat those words as a compliment to Prince Marth. Go ahead. I'm planning to leave this land once I save Maria. There's no point in him knowing. Leave... this land? That's correct. Then... What will you tell Princess Maria? Isn't she waiting for you? I'll save her. But I won't say a word afterwards. What? The only one who should talk to Maria now is her sister, Minerva. I don't have the right anymore. Why do you think that? I don't have any ties with Mastodon anymore. So you're running. What did you say? I heard you were once reunited with Princess Minerva on the battlefield. You speak of the you speak of during the War of Shadows. So, what of it? That time. I wonder if the princess asked you if you couldn't mend your ways. Bah. Why do you know that? No, I didn't know. But considering her personality, I just presumed she did. 
not because you committed a mistake, or for abandoning your kingdom. I believe the princess's true wish was for you to abandon your lands and walk a new path. <laughs> You're a man who doesn't fear a king. I'm flattered. I don't like you, just as I don't like Prince Marth. However, I suppose the world needs people like you right now. Damn, these are interesting times. Prince Michaelis. I'll remember you, John. No. Sir John. F fucking love how Sudere <laughs> Michaelis is. Lady Nagi, about the next battle. We're advancing to the next floor. It'll likely be an intense battle, but we don't have a minute to lose. You are... You are mysterious. Huh? You are... being guided by a mysterious fate. I don't know who, but you're guided by someone similar to you. Are you... fortune-telling? Truly, I did feel like what you described every now and then. Your name... Tell me... your name. Yes, ma'am. I am John. John... Tell me... What can... I do for you? I want to help you. Hmm. Alright. Mysterious. Uh, alright, I'm gonna hate this map so fucking much. We do have a couple of physics staves. We're gonna get a lot of fucking lag on this map. Oh, I didn't want to store that. Let me store that rescue staff, because I doubt we're gonna need that anymore. Give you a physic, and we'll re replace that fortify staff you have. Etzel has mend. Uh, if I put the fire staff away on Etzel, and I gave him, uh, I'll give you another mend stave. Let's save over this. And let us begin. So you've come, boy. How many times must you get in my way? Enough! I tire of our games. Garnif, what have you done with my sister and the others? Release them at once! <laughs> I'd allow- I've allowed them the honor of being sacrifices for the Shadow Dragon's resurrection. You will never see them again. Emperor Medeus will soon be reborn in his truth and darkest form, and they will usher in a new era. Tis a pity. Their souls couldn't bear the suffering and shattered into pieces. Even I am powerless to help them. Shame, really. I have them to thank for the Shadow Dragon's awakening. Not even the Binding Shield can stop him now. I applaud you for coming this far. But, little prince, you will go no further. I will kill you here and you will die knowing that you are nothing! Oh shit, we're already in these dragons' ranch? Let me try just going with, an, with like a slow advance. And forgive me in advance for this fucking terrible lag. But good lord, this is terrible. <laughs> If 
fast forwarding is not going to help that much. He still has axe equipped. Oh, good lord, this is... This is awful. Uh, there's one of the fortify staves. Alright, now the mage dragon is next. I'll have Navar deal with that one. I'm gonna send Malisha over here. I can only imagine how bad the last map in the game is gonna be with this. Oof. Yo, Daros, can you get a 38? Thank you. Let me equip the silver sword on Ogma. I need to be getting up here too with uh, Starlight so I can take out Garnef. Then we'll send our archers over here. Mage Dragon's going after Ogma. We can actually slip past the guys of Meteor. And up Ogma. The bar come up here. Well, I shouldn't totally ignore the guys with Meteor, I guess. Oh, thought I heard something. I thought I heard someone scream, but I think it's just my cat yawning. That's weird. of all the mages. Hmm. Here's what I will do. Because you have a lot of speed, Navar, so you'll probably avoid Meteor. I'll go... Well, no, because I, I don't need... I only need six moves to get to the dragon. And then, because I think mage dragons do. 22. Yeah, they do magic damage, so I can take that easily with my res. And I, I easily double them. Ooh, those guys with glow are going to be a little bit of a problem, though, because they bypass my res. So I'll have to avoid them. Ooh. Uh, how much health do I have? 43? Okay, so if I kill this guy one round, 19, 19, 30, if they both hit, that's 38. What's my void? 28. So they still have like an 80% chance to hit me, or 70% chance to hit me. And that mage dragon's gonna do 22. What's my res? He's gonna do 9. So what, 38 and 9 is more health than I fucking have. Yeah. Yeah, it is. That's just assuming that they all hit me, which we all know that they will. Uh... Let me try this, see what happens. 34? Yeah, missed. Alright, well... Just to be on the safe side. Let me try this and see what actually happens. So I'll go in with... Oh. Right. You, you can't damage them with, uh... physical attacks. I mean, magic attacks. Oh. No, that's, that's cool. That's cool. That, that's, that's fantastic, game. Totally forgot about that. A little tidbit. Uh, 
Oh, you hit Navarre. Are you fucking ki- Are you actually fucking kidding me? They are you actually fucking kidding me with this bullshit? They both hit Navarre with 34s. That's- That's really fucking dumb. Like, holy shit. Okay, then I can- Now I can go up and deal with the mages. Hopefully. Alright, so let's heal up Navarre. I think the best way to do this is just, like, send up a small force. So that way you can... I would just like send up my best units and have everyone else like hang back. I think this is for the best, to be honest. Then I'll have these guys start approaching on the next turn. Watch, we're gonna get reinforcements soon. I really hope not, though. So I'll go with Shaver. Katarina, I actually want you to go with Aura. Because Aura boosts your attack at the 35 and... Ooh. Katarina, you're really fucking good. See what happens here. Glowers hit me for yeah 19, 53, 59 percent chance to hit. Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't it? Do that 49 percent crit though. Let's see, 56 percent chance on Katarina. Yeah. I mean, why not? Fire Emblem most fucking me over. Alright, and then this is the Mage Dragon's range. And I gotta remember that these- Oh, actually, these two have Swarm. They're- they're nothing. Oh, look, we're almost at the top of the map, too. Just gotta remember that Garnif's actually going to come after us when we get up there. So, that'll be nice to keep in mind. That's nice to keep in mind. Uh, let's send Navarre up one. Us move up a little bit. Militia use fortify. I seriously can't believe that, the, that my emulator is lagging this much. Right, so that dragon's dead. Uh, hey, fire dragons, that's cool. Alright, so what's the range on these fire dragons? I'm not really worried about the guys that swarm. So it's up to... Alright, so... Navarre here. Marth here. Actually, I can have Ogma just come up and start attacking this other dragon right now. That'll actually make things a lot easier. 
we're, we have a very slow advance. Actually, I think what was slowing down the game was the fucking danger area. Swarm for 13, swarm for 11. Yes, swarm means nothing. Swarm is absolutely terrible. Alright, that hit Ogma. Ogma, well, yeah, Og Ogma's completely fine on his own. He doesn't need any fucking assistance. Alright, that dragon's gone, and this dragon's fucking gone too. Don't, of course. 39. That was a 39, Navar. You had to get hit by a 39. Is that to me? Yeah, that's Garnif's range I'm looking at. The Mage Dragon's range is up to here, so let's send... Actually, Navarro's gonna take out this motherfucker with his last swing of the Silver Sword. Level 19. Alright, Silver Sword broke. Marth can almost get to that guy. So I'm gonna put Marth near his range. Ogma's gonna take care of this other dragon. We're gonna have Militia use Fortify. Level up for her. Not bad. I need to get myself ready for Garnef. Garnef's gonna hurt a bit. Oh yeah, there are other guys with Meteor up there too that I gotta look out for. I think I'll be okay though. Oh, Meteor starts right now. Well, it's fine, they missed. Wow, all of them fucking missed. That's a dead mage dragon. Fire dragons are slowly approaching. More fire dragons. More mage dragons. Alright. Marth. Yeah, just... One shot that heretic. Okay. I think all these guys go down to here, right? Yeah, even Garnef does. They all have the same range, so... Let's see, that's 23 and 23. That's 10 each to me. Yeah, that's 10 each. So that puts me down at 23 HP, and Garnef's not gonna kill. So, I just have to stay here equipped with... Well, I can kill them with Starlight, right? Because Starlight's a fairly powerful tome. Yeah, it's got 17 might. So that, pu that puts me at 42. I'm, I'm going to kill those guys, no problem. And I'm not going to run out of Starlights either. Alright, just got to... Let me just remind myself of their range, so I can stay... not... in it. Yeah, that's that's a great way to describe it, John. So I can stay not in it. Could've just said stay out of it, but... Nah, you gotta go for that really dumb way of saying it. Daros, you're hitting Michaelis. And Garnef's coming after me. <laughs> Allow me to demonstrate Imhulu's might. I will not let Prince Marth die. I won't let the likes of you lay even a finger on him. Come on, Garnef. Show me Imhulu's might. God, that's a badass looking tome. 
but I got Starlight, my dude. Now that's a good looking tome as well. You done, son. You done. Too late. The end is nigh. Well, at least Garnif's dead and we got Falchion. I'll send it to the convoy for now. Marth can take it later. Ouch. Well, yeah, these guys are dead. I'm just gonna be left with very little HP. Because that's going to hit me. Oh, I forgot about the fire dragons. Well. Oh, they aren't even going to reach us. I gotta admit, that definitely didn't take as long as I thought it would. I thought this map was gonna be mu take oh, much more time. But, uh, hey, that's cool. Well, 23 done. Now I just got the finale to do, and I have a bunch of fucking grinding to do for that. Because I gotta get, what, four other characters? I'm gonna grind up four other characters. You're attacking Michaelis, you're attacking Michaelis. And then more dragons. Man, it's a good thing we did this fast. Uh, now nah, I don't need to attack them. Alright, seize. Sire, this way. More stairs. Alright, if this is where it ends, then I guess I'll end the episode here. And uh, in the next one, guys, we're going to move on to the finale of Let's Play Fire Emblem uh, 12. We'll go into the final chapter, Light and Shadow. So, I'll see you guys then. Bye!